Hi there, in today's session we're going to look at regression but adding categorical variables. Essentially in this webcast you will run a similar multiple regression to uh, in the previous webcast but with the addition of a categorical variable as an indicator of satisfaction. So just as a recap of what, uh, what regression is, regression allows us to predict a continuous dependent variable using one or more independent variables. In this instance, we're complementing our continuous independent variables with one uh, categorical variable as a um, independent variable in the relationship between um, and in, in the relationship with satisfaction. We'll also be able to estimate R squared as a result of that to test for model fit and how robust our solution actually is. As before, it's important that you um, validate your assumptions beforehand and you can see how this can be done in practice using um, a previous webisode. When we add categorical variables into our um, model, we need to uh, create dummy variables. We can't purely just put that independent variable in. SPSS doesn't really recognize it with multiple linear regression. Therefore, we need to recode uh, our existing variable into uh, one or more, uh, depending on the number of categories we have, one or more variables. We subtract one variable from this. Um, in this instance, that will be the variable single. Um, because it acts as a reference for the other categories. And that will make sense in just a second. Essentially, what we need to do in SPSS is to create new codes for each of our categories when we create them into new variables. As I already mentioned, single will be our reference category and therefore it will be coded with zeros. Essentially, what I'm saying there is we do not need to create a new variable for it. Um, we have to create new variables for married, D1, Divorce D2 and Widow D3. The coding for each um, takes on a binary, um, a binary number, either one or zero. For married D1, we have married is one, divorced is zero, widow is zero. And for divorce D2, our coding would be um, single zero, married zero, divorced one, widowed zero. You'll see how that works in practice when we actually um, run this in SPSS. So essentially what we're going to be doing is taking exactly the same model as before. Satisfaction is driven by quality, complaints handling, friendly staff. But we're adding in our three new variables which we use to compare against our reference category which is single. Uh, and therefore looking at the effect on satisfaction. In the first instance we need to create new variables. <clears throat> So we go to transform, recode into different variables. Now you've seen this done before in an earlier tutorial. So our original variable is marital status and we're going to move that across. We're creating, a, uh, we're creating three new variables. The first is uh, married. So we'll call that married, we'll call it change. We have to create new codings. Remember, zero is single, one is married, two is divorced, three is widowed. In our old value, which was single, we want a zero, sorry, one, which was single. Our new value is going to be zero. Our old value was for married was two. We now want that to be 1, so we're creating that into our variable, which is binary. Our old variable was 3, which was divorced. We want that to be a 0. And our old value 4, which was widowed, we also call that 0. F. Continue. Click OK. SPSS tells us, yeah, we've created a new variable. There it is there, marry. We have to do that for each of our variables, in fact. And I'll do that very quickly. So our second new variable is going to be divorced. Change that. Um, we do need to change these. 
Okay, so in our old value um, was one, here it's gonna be zero, add. Two, which is married, that's gonna be zero. Three, that's actually the variable we want, so we're gonna say that's one. And uh, four, that's gonna be a, a zero. Click continue, and we've now created a new val variable for divorced. We have to do this just one more time, this time for widowed. In fact, I can do this slightly quicker. Um, we know that four is going to be a one, and three, four is going to be a one, not a ten. And three is going to be a zero. Click change. Okay, and we should then have our three new variables here. Now we then have to just in implement them into our and integrate them into our, our regression model. So we follow exactly the same process as before. We already have our three variables um, that are continuous. We add them across there and click continue and SPSS creates our categories and our new model. You see our squared is 0.41 which is 0.42. If you saw the last tutorial you'd see that actually there hasn't been very much change at all. What we're really interested in is interpreting these three new variables added into the model what we can see straight away is that there is no significance there. P is greater than 0 0.05, which suggests that actually they're not improving the fit of our model at all. Presuming that they were though, we can interpret these very simply. Remember that the idea of being single, so people who are single, are our reference category. What we're basically saying in terms of satisfaction is that people who are married are negative 0.16 points on a scale of 1 to 7 below people who are single in terms of satisfaction. Um, we can add that same kind of thing to being divorced and widowed, 0 0.06 negative. So it's um, there's, a, there's a difference in satisfaction between being single and divorced by negative 0 0.06 points, which is absolutely minuscule difference um, on a scale of 1 to 7. Essentially what we're saying here is that actually it looks like single people are more satisfied than uh, being married, divorced or widowed. That said, that said, there isn't any significant difference between them so we can't infer that that is truly um, a, a, a real conclusion that we can draw. That's how you um, implement categorical variables into your uh, multiple linear regression.